everybody, it's Felisa. This is going to be another entry into Spotlight Sunday where I highlight case files of the missing, lost, and endangered. Today's case is going to be on Janelle Princess Bradford, who has been missing since April 27, 1999 from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Her classification is endangered runaway and her date of birth is May 10th, 1981. At the time of her disappearance, she was 17 years old and today she will currently be 38. Her height and weight at the time that she went missing was reported to be between 5'3 and 5'4, 96 pounds. Her last known description of clothing was a green jacket, a white shirt, tan pants, and black platform shoes. Distinguishing characteristics are that she is an African-American female. She had black hair and black eyes, and she went by her middle name, Princess. Her ears are pierced. According to the charlieproject.org, the details of her disappearance are as follows. Janelle disappeared from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania on April 27, 1999. On that day, she attended classes at Wilkinsburg High School where she was an honor student due to graduate in two months. That evening, she went to her job at the YWCA on Ross Avenue and was last seen walking home. She never arrived. Janelle's friends didn't believe that she would have run away because she was happy with her life and looking forward to her upcoming prom. Her father wasn't a part of her life and her mother died when she was five, so she was being raised by her grandparents. Janelle's grandparents stated that her grades had slipped prior to her disappearance during her senior year and she had stopped studying and doing her homework as conscientiously as before. Investigators believe that Janelle left of her own accord and may still be in the local area. Her grandmother speculated that perhaps she met a boyfriend and um, was speaking to him and then decided that she was going to leave. I did quite a bit of um, research on this particular case because there wasn't a whole lot of detail um, given on charlieproject.org, which is one of my go-to sites. And you know, I do want to interject here that if you have the opportunity or the means, please support their effort um, and consider making a donation to the site administrator who has done a phenomenal job with compiling cases. Um, that span decades. At any rate, um, I looked at a number of published reports and also looked at the Pittsburgh Tribune Review um, for her, her story, and they all pretty much were the same, where there wasn't a whole lot of information. Um, and, you know, it was just pretty, this is what happened on her last day or her last known sighting. Um, I do want to say that um, the grandmother did say that she saw a change in Janelle after she visited a couple of colleges. I'm assuming that perhaps she went on a college tour or she you know, went to go and talk about admission. And perhaps that's why the grandmother believes that there may have been a boyfriend or you know, a suitor that was involved because perhaps she was introduced to someone on one of these campuses when she went to visit. But the more that I thought about that, the more that that doesn't really make sense because if she were introduced to someone on a college campus, I'm going to you know go out on a limb and suggest that this would have been a student on the college campus. Would it have made more sense for Janelle to finish her studies and to finish strong, apply to this particular school, and then be able to go wherever this guy was? That would seem like that would be the more logical uh, scenario. Um, so I kind of disqualified that. And as for her grades slipping, if she had been an honor student all the way up until, you know, April, I, you know, I remember being in high school and I did quite well in high school, actually. And, you know, by the time March, April rolled around, I had a raging case of senioritis. And so I don't think that Janelle's disinterest in school or studying or things of that nature are atypical for most teenagers. By the time you get to the spring in any grade, you know, most kids have checked out 
And, you know, especially senior, looking forward to all of the activities and things that seniors go through. You know, it's usually quite a push to keep them on task and focused so that they can finish strong. Furthermore, all of her friends said that she was looking forward to prom. So if she was looking forward to prom and then, you know, eventually graduation, and I'm not quite sure what activities um, Janelle's particular high school would have had planned for seniors, but generally speaking, seniors do have other plans other activities that go on um, before graduation, like perhaps a senior picnic or, you know, kind of um, a swing out time or, you know, parties or things like that. And then, you know, it would have been graduation and then it would have been graduation, graduating or graduation get togethers um, that probably would have happened. So her just deciding abruptly, you know, one April morning, or one April, actually, to uh, just forget it all it just doesn't seem plausible. It's, it's possible, but it doesn't seem plausible. Furthermore, she went to school that day, and then she went to work. That doesn't sound like someone who is planning on walking away. You, you know, she went and did her normal routine for that day, and then just didn't come home after work. So, um and at the time that she disappeared, I don't think that, you know, cell phones and, you know, all that kind of stuff was, was widely at play. So she would have had to coordinate whatever on her home phone or a pay phone. Um, it doesn't say that she had a pager. Even if she had a pager, she still would have had to have gotten to some type of landline, landline to even coordinate. What it doesn't say is even though Janelle's grandmother's uh, speculated or or suspected that she had a suitor um what made her think that you know if it was just that she had this change in behavior i'm not sure that that necessarily points towards a boy she could have been going through some type of depression she could have you know been battling some type of um, issue that was just unknown perhaps she did not want to worry her grandparents um, and if she was distracted and kind of not engaged, that would suggest to me that she had some other things going on, not necessarily a boy, you know, but was there someone that was bothering her? Was there someone that was, you know, pursuing her in a way that she just did not like, you know, perhaps at her, her job or, you know, even in school, was she running across someone that was giving her unwanted attention and perhaps she just chose not to say anything because she did not want to concern her grandparents that probably should be consideration considered and then you know you have to think about perhaps this was just a random abduction or you know a random type of you know situation where she ran into someone perhaps she was walking home and someone offered her a ride and perhaps she knew this person and trusted them and you know decided to get into the car with them and then that was it or you know someone that saw her walking and forced her in a car um, even though she was seen walking home, it's not, I couldn't find any report that shows or stated how far away she was from her house. You know, if she was on her normal route, um, to go home, was she deviating in any type of way? Did she speak to anyone? What was her body language? Um, was she carrying anything? Because if she were planning on walking away, I would think that she would take some belongings. She wouldn't just leave with the clothes on her back. Um, there was another report that I read that um, Janelle's grandmother speculated that she may have been pregnant. But even if that were the case, it's been 20 years. And so if she walked away to have a child on her own because she was ashamed or what have you, it would seem to me that after, you know, a, a few months even that she would come back and try and make a, amends, not 20 years, especially with her being in her 30s now. Um, that she wouldn't try and track down her grandparents and, and let them know exactly what happened. That, again, doesn't sound very plausible to me. Again, anything is possible, but it doesn't sound very plausible because where would she go? Where would a 17-year-old who is still technically a minor and, you know, we shy of her 18th birthday, where would, where would someone go with no money, no, you know, no connectivity, the clothes on their back, pregnant, and, you know, no ability to create any type of shelter or any of those kinds of things for themselves. Like, where would you go? Um, so I, I kind of dismissed that theory, too, but it was worth noting because I did read it in one of the articles that that had been a point of speculation for her grandmother. 
I think, you know, this case is certainly baffling and it's concerning because um, this young woman has been missing for quite a while and, you know, 20 years to be exact. And there hasn't been any trace of her whatsoever. You know, none of her personal effects have turned up. Uh, she hasn't made contact with her family. No one has seen her since this last day or this last known sighting of her. Um, and I don't even know who or who the people or who the person was that even said that they saw her walking home. So that is very concerning to me. What I do know is that Janelle has been gone for far too long and it is important that her family receive some type of closure and some type of information in this case. So if you know or have any awareness of Janelle, Janelle's whereabouts, perhaps even her movements on that last day that she was seen, please contact the Wilkinsburg Police Department at 412-473-3056. You may also visit the Doe Network or the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children if you have any information about this or other missing persons cases. As always, it's just my intention to bring awareness about this issue, about this missing young woman, to shine a spotlight on her case and hopefully get some new information or some new leads that will help bring her family some closure. Um, I invite your comments in the section below. As always, it's just my request that you remain respectful and civil in the con in the comment section specifically because Janelle's family is still out there still searching for her and may come across your comments and we want to make sure that we are giving them as much ca compassion and care as we possibly can thank you for watching and y'all be blessed